There's a word mark, which uses a logo that basically just has letters, the word in a creative way. There's letter mark that has some initials and some imagery. And then there's also combination, which is the text and the imagery. All right? Once you come up with your logo ideas through drawings on paper, then you're going to design in Adobe Illustrator. Okay? The back of the room, that cart has 15 computers. There's more than 15 of us. So the idea is I'm introducing this now to you. We've also, we're working on the painting. And then the last project is the artist's choice, which means you guys get to pick or to design whatever you want to do. So you have three projects, and basically we're just going to say they're due at the end of the year. So you guys, from this point on, starting today, you can work on any project you want, as long as they're all due at the end of the semester. Does that make sense? So if you want to take a break from painting starting today and you want to work on the logo, you can do that. If you want to take a break today and you want to work from the painting and you want to work on your artist's choice, you can do that. If you want to keep working on your painting, you can do that. Okay? So some people will be working on different stuff and then that should help alleviate the fact that we only have 15 computers and about 23 students or so. Okay? So now I'm going to work in this program and I really need you to focus. Because this is not an easy program. Okay? So once you once you get started and you get logged into those computers, the easiest way to find Adobe Illustrator on any computer is to just type it in down here. When once you guys get logged in. Now my computer's gonna be really slow. There we go. So type it in, you'll find it, and when you open it up, you're gonna go new. Kind of just like a Word document. And you're going to create what we call just a letter size or a letter style. It's just your standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper going up and down. And click OK. And it's going to look like just basically a sheet of paper. And you've got the toolbar here. These are tools. And then these are menus over here and effects. So tools, menus, and effects. So what I would do is take a few minutes once you get into the program and just kind of play around with it. The main things you're going to be using for this uh, project is you're going to be using the type tool. You'll notice if you hover over these different tools, it'll say what they are. Some are kind of self-explanatory, like the type tool. Some, like the lasso tool, you probably won't know. It's for selecting like a certain area. But I'm going to show you just the tools that you need for this project because there's way more than we need. So type tool. You click on this, you click anywhere in here, and now I can type. Okay? I can make it bigger by stretching like this. Or if you go up here to type, I can change the font, I can change the size, things like that. Or I can do it right here as well. There we go. Okay, so the type tool you're going to be using, because you have to type a few things, like your mission statement. The other uh, few tools that you're going to be using are what we call drawing tools. Because you have to draw or you have to create somehow your logo. Some of you, if you're using text in your logo, you'll use just the text tool and you can resize it. Okay, stretch it and you can change the font like we were talking about up here if you need to. There's a lot of different fonts in this program. If you're drawing something for your logo, the pen tool is one tool you'll use. You may also use the line tool, the paintbrush tool, and maybe the pencil tool as well. Also, you may use these. If you click and hold the mouse button down on these tools, you'll notice I'm holding the mouse button down right now. There's other tools hidden behind this one. These are preset shapes. 
Meaning, like, if you need a rectangle, don't draw it. Don't reinvent the wheel. Use this preset tool and you can make a rectangle. So if I select the rectangle tool and I go in here, I can make a rectangle. I can fill it with any color that I want. I can resize it, stretch it, do whatever. If I wanted to have a dark outline, let's say I want a green box with a black outline around it. Okay. If you notice here, we've got a fill area. Got, if I uh, hover over this, and then right here, it looks like an outline. It's called a stroke area. If I highlight this so it's on top of the other one, I can go over here and pick the color I want, black. So now I've got a green filled box with a black outline. Let's say I want the outline thicker, I can come over to stroke and just keep making it as big as I want. You can also flip back and forth using this arrow key between one and the other. If you want the other color on the inside or not. Okay, so you can build things with these preset geometric shapes, which I would recommend if you can get away with that. The other tools are drawing tools like the pen tool. The pen tool, I can click and make any shape that I want. You want to go back to the original dot. It's really important when you want to fill shapes that you make a complete shape, meaning you start here, you go all the way around, and then you end at the starting point again. Because then now I can make this any color, maybe I don't want an outline anymore, I just want it to be yellow. Okay. So that's the pen tool. Um, the paintbrush tool, you can do more rounded lines. That's the paintbrush tool. So now maybe I want to select that. I want it to be red. Um, the last one I was going to show you is the line tool. This one is good if you want to do more geometric lines. This one I don't think is a really great tool. You can try it out. I think the best tools are the preset geometric shapes, um, the pen, and the paintbrush for drawing the shapes and things that you need. So for instance, once you figure out what your idea is on paper, that'll kind of determine which tool that you use to make things. For instance, like if I'm doing the Adidas logo, I can use the text tool to do my text, obviously, and then kind of look at the shapes that you have drawn. The shapes of the uh, Adidas symbol are kind of like elongated ovals. So if it's a shape that I already have in the preset shapes, we have an ellipse tool, the ellipse is an oval, I can click that and I can just make the shapes that I need. You can also C will copy, control C will paste. And I can, if you hover next to these, you can rotate the shapes. So now maybe I want to rotate this one the other way to do the other part of the Adidas symbol. Basically, those are the only tools you need to know. I think that's it. The end result is going to look something like this. This is what you're going to send to me. I put this together. Some of you guys might recognize this logo. I made this logo for the football team when I was still coaching for Hudson football. Okay. So I mocked it up the way I want it to look when you guys send it to me. So we want to say up in the top, company name, okay, in this case, Hudson High School Football, product or service. So in this case, it's a 9 through 12th grade public school football team. In your case, it could be athletic shoe company or clothing company, whatever it is. Vision statement, 
team over self together we work hard add value and achieve our goals and then down at the bottom type logo and then you're going to have your finished logo right here now to get this to me you're going to we're not going to print these you're going to email these to me so there's one thing we have to do to get it ready we're going to go save for web and devices <laughs> And we're going to save this as a JPEG, which is like a picture file. Like all the pictures you look up on the internet um, when you do like a Google search, those are JPEGs. They're really easy to uh, email and things like that, and they don't take up a lot of space. So be sure this says JPEG right here, and be sure this is up to 100% for quality. And then you're going to go save. Save this into your, you guys use your G drive, is that right? Okay. Save it somewhere where you can get, come back to it. Because then what you're going to do is open your email. Everyone knows how to use email, right? Do you know how to attach a file in email? Okay. You guys can use whatever email you want. If you don't use your school email, that's fine. Use a different one. But this is important. In the subject line, what do you think you should put in the subject line that would be helpful to me? Perfect. Your name. Put your name and, and put graph design and logo and stuff. You don't put your name on it. Well, how do you well, because if it's coming from a different email that maybe you don't use your full name in your email, like Funky Monkey One Two Three. Okay, I won't know that that's John Rose's email. You probably would. I probably would. <laughs> okay, you get the idea, and then you're gonna email it to me that way. Okay, fill out the grading sheet. The grading sheets you'll just turn in to the turn in folder. So then I'll find your email in my inbox. I'll find your grading sheet. I'll put it together. You're all set. All right, let's get started. Come.